my friends welcome back to my channel so while we're doing stitching I thought I would do a drizzle stitch because I had a few people comment that they didn't know what a drizzle stitch was so I have a piece of fabric here let's pick out something let's take this one it's bright pink and you want to use a bullion needle or a Milner's needle because the eye of the needle is the same diameter as the needle itself. I don't know if that's really visible in the video, but that's, that's what you use. And then I have this little drizzle pad. It's wool that has been felted. It's a little more than half an inch thick. And you want this because you're going to stick your needle down into this while you do the stitch. So you can use any thread that you want, obviously, and thick or thin thread, multiple threads. There we go. I'm using a pearl thread that's size 3, I believe. So for a drizzle stitch, you can use it for highlighting centers of flowers, whatever you want. So we're just going to come up in the center of this flower right here. Okay. Now, this comes the tricky part. Actually, it's not that tricky. It's pretty easy. I've got my little drizzle pad underneath here. And normally I would be doing this on my lap, so it would be a lot easier. But you're going to take the thread out of your needle. So you're going to unthread your needle. And you're going to put your needle back down right next to where you came up and into the drizzle pad. So it that's what holds it in place. And then what you're going to do is a slip knot over the needle. So I wrap it, I wrap it around my thumb like this and then you twist it and put that loop over the needle and pull it. And you're going to do that as many times as you want the stitch to be long. So you, you're going to do probably at least 12 to 15 if you want them long. If you want them really long, you're going to do more. So it just depends on how long you want your um, stitch to be. So now what you're going to do is I take my thumb and I wrap the thread around my thumb away from myself and then I twist the thread. I just twist my thumb and you put it over the top of the needle and pull. And that drizzle pad underneath keeps your needle secure. And then you just keep adding little slip knots. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. Let's do 16. No, let's do 18. 17, 18. Okay? Now you're going to re-thread your needle. Okay? And you're going to hold the threads with your thumb and finger, push the needle down, so you're taking it off the little drizzle pad, push the needle down and pull the thread all the way through. And do you see that little, that little piece that it made? And it kind of twists the longer you make them and you can pull it tighter and it will pull down a little more and give it a little more of a twist. And then you just come back up. Or you can make a stitch. Sometimes I make a little stitch off to the side, just barely, so that it holds it and doesn't come undone. So let's do that. You don't have to, but let's do it anyway. Because you won't see it. When you get enough drizzles in there, they'll just all be covered up. So we'll come up again, right next to that one. 
put it down on our drizzle pad and put the needle into the drizzle pad through the fabric into the drizzle pad and let's do another 18 one so wrap it around your thumb towards yourself and then away from yourself and twist it and o loop over the top of the needle so that's two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen thread the needle Hold those threads, push the needle through a little bit, and then just pull it through from the back. And you'll see that little thread just makes a little curl. Isn't that the cutest thing? Let's do one more. Odd is always better than even. But you can do a bunch of these. I've done stuff with, you know, 10 or 12 of these little guys. Some of them are short, some of them are long. You can use different colors. They come out really cute if you use an, um, a variegated thread. Okay, so just poke it down into the drizzle pad. Unthread your needle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Thread the needle. It's getting a little frayed from coming in and out. That happens, it's okay. Hold those threads just gently. You don't have to hold them tight. You're just kind of guiding the thread through so it doesn't knot up on you, because that does happen. And just pull. And then we will anchor it off in the back. A snip and there are your little drizzle threads how cute are those right I hope you try it in your next project they're so fun and there's so many fun stitches and so many ways to use them I hope you liked this little tutorial let me know what you guys think and I hope to see you soon Comment and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Okay, bye.